Hi, and welcome to my blues turnaround, acoustic blues turnaround for the month of March. This is a new series I actually started in April, but I'm going back and doing a retro lesson for March just so there'll be another one for you. This time I'm going to use an acoustic guitar, and I'm going to play, show you a turnaround that can be used either in acoustic blues or electric blues. This comes where I, what I associate it with is the playing of Jimmy Rogers, who recorded on electric guitar with Muddy Waters and as a solo artist for chess records in the 50s. I've also heard this in the acoustic playing of Robert Jr. Lockwood, who does a lot of really cool stuff with pinches and double stops and things, octaves and all sorts of cool stuff. So in the key of E, let's say we have a slow blues tune in the key of E. A lot of guys will use the standard turnarounds like this. Or this. So if you want to do something a little different, listen to this. I'm going to take it from the five. And you can end it up in all different kinds of ways. But the basic turnaround is I'm pinching. Got my first finger on the fourth fret of the third string second finger on the fourth fret of the third string. Got my first finger, oh, that's right, first finger there, second finger on the fifth fret of the fifth string. And I'm pinching them using a thumb pick and my first finger. If you play bare fingered, you do it that way. If you play with a pick between your thumb and first finger and you want to use your, your second finger to pick, you can do that too. But right now, that's how I do it. And then with my first finger, I'm getting the first string and then the third string. Just moving it up. Down, moving it down. Then to wrap it up, I'm doing a trill on the first fret of the third string. And then the turnaround, walking into the five, the B7. Doing a little Kind of Scrapper Blackwell, Robert Lockwood, little scrapey thingy there. Jimmy Rogers does that too on electric guitar. So the whole turnaround. Jimmy Rogers a lot of times will lead back into the next verse. Or something like that. But the basic part of it is just real simple. Now, another way you could do that is leave out the treble strings and just play. Or you can use that by itself, but it sounds, I think it sounds a lot better with the treble strings. Now, another variation on that while we're here is just take the same lick and walk it the other way. So like this. Just starting. Starting from here with my first finger on the first fret of the third string. Back into the, the tune. So there is a turnaround. Now if you use a capo and put it you know, in different places. You can play that in the key of F, you can play it in G. Without the capo, you can really only play that in the key of E, because that's where you have those open strings that you can throw in there. So that is my turnaround of the month, blues, old school blues turnaround for the month of March. I'm doing one for April from a tune by Jimmy Reed called Shame, Shame, Shame. And then from there, if you have any requests, let me know. I'm planning on alternating acoustic blues turnarounds with electric Although this one here you can use on electric guitar or on acoustic guitar. There's some that you can really only play on acoustic guitar or on electric, but I suppose you can do anything you want. If you have any questions, comments, let me know. I'll be back again in a month with another set of lessons, including another turnaround of the month.